went on last night and he continued to shame black men like I've been saying for months now that is the game plan to shame black men they're not shaming white men for voting for Trump or supporting other candidates they're coming after us and it ain't working <laughs> right he said it was unacceptable <clears throat> and they always underestimate our knowledge of policy and they skip right over that and start with the whole misogynist stuff oh you just don't want to support a woman you just don't want to support. Then they always like to go to the punch. Oh, what was your grandmother think? Oh, what do, do you not love your mom? You must not love your mother. The same old weak tactics. And I'm like, yo, y'all got to come up with another game plan. You watch sports. You need a good game plan when you come out there on Sunday. So you get rolled the fuck over. Come up with a better game plan and maybe you can succeed. But this same old lazy tactics that they're using, these predictable plays, it ain't working. It ain't working. And so they, Nina Turner, shout out to Nina Turner from uh, the former delegate. She actually was a delegate for Obama. And she was the only person on this panel. And you know what? I'm going to apologize to myself because I remember when Cameron was on CNN earlier this summer and I actually felt bad for Abby, this black lady right here on CNN. Because, you know, Cam was just kind of like wilding on her. But now I'm like, yo, Cam was right. Because <laughs> she definitely is on the bandwagon. And... This, Nina Turner was the only person on this platform that stood up for black men and called out Obama because what Obama did last night was wrong. Pressure. I mean, it's not, this is not a, let me, a nice message. This is a very stern message. Let me ask Obama. you a question, Abby and yeah. Nina. Let me say, I find it very interesting that we're trying to reach out to white men. We're trying to reach out to black men. The yeah. people whose rights are really on the ballot right now are women. And we're begging all these men to pay attention to us and to, to care enough about this election, to vote, to come out, yeah. to support us. I feel like Brock going on the campaign trail right now makes perfect sense, of course, right? He's a top surrogate for Democrats. He should be out there doing the work right now. I think it's just, it's so amazing to me that with women's rights on the line, we're spending so much time focusing on making sure men and care because men, I, I, I don't know it's because men are the problem men right now for care. Kamala Harris. <laughs> I mean women I mean, and, and by the way uh, uh Governor Walls according to Politico is going to be going out on a mentor literally a tour of media to appeal to men they need to appear appeal to the needs of the voters and so when I was a delegate for President Obama in both of his elections in Ohio right now the vice president is down 11 points in Ohio, even though I, I fully expect President Trump to take Ohio, as he did twice, but to be down 11 points compared to President Biden, that is a problem. But this other issue I want to bring up is a problem, too. Why are black men being lectured to? Why are black men being belittled in ways that no other voting group? Now, a lot of love for former President uh, uh, Obama, but for him to single out black men is wrong. And some of the black men that I have talked to have their reasons why they want to vote a different way. And even if some of us may not like that, we have to respect it. So unless President Barack Obama is going to go out and lecture every other group of men from other identity groups, my message for Democrats is don't bring it here to black men who, by and large, don't vote much differently from from black women. And what, as a politician, we should be trying to get all voters to vote. And hopefully there are a few good men out there who do care about the stripping away of some of women's bodily autonomy. But this is wrong for President Obama. It is a wrong course for the Harris Waltz campaign to lay at the feet of black men when they have their reasons. In 2020, the vice president was labeled a do cop, you, as we know. But do you think, sorry to interrupt you, Nina, but do you think he's right? that some of the reason, one of the reasons is because they don't like the idea of a It might be some, say, listen, house. black men are socialized in the same society as any other, any other man. So yes, is misogyny maybe a part of it? But again, is President Obama and is the Harris Waltz campaign going to lecture yeah. other male groups in the same way that they're lecturing This is not men? just about... I don't think so. It's not just about <clears throat> Pennsylvania. It's not just about men. It sounds like there's a concern that there's a broad problem for Vice President Harris with the blue wall. Uh, it, it's, a, it's basically, according to the poll of polls. Uh, no clear leader. A tied race, essentially, in all three of these battleground states. Um, you know, 
I don't know that this is because Trump has run a great campaign, but, <laughs> but I mean, I don't I, think it's that. I, I, I mean, maybe he has, maybe he hasn't, but he has, he has run, he has struggled against Kamala Harris in this early stage, but he's still kept this race pretty tied and maybe has made some inroads in the last couple of weeks. Oh, it, absolutely he has. Uh, they, they always go with the misogynistic thing. And I was impressed with her because you don't get that enough. You don't really get a lot of objectivity on CNN unless they bring somebody else who got a different political agenda on there. Um, but they always like all this, David, they always versus, well, half of y'all don't vote anyway. Right. And then they just think we don't know anything. We just a bunch of nignogs and they underestimate our knowledge completely. And it's like, hold up. No, a lot of us, it ain't got nothing to do with her being a female. Some of us, some people it is. You know, you got your Charleston whites out there um, that just don't think a, a woman should be at the helm. Personally, our country's at war a lot and we got a lot of issues. I don't know how comfortable that would be for some people. Um, but to, to shame black men into voting for something that they don't support. And it's not all black men, but it's a good support. It's a good amount. You know, they're buckling and they got this 27 day tour that they got Obama on where he's going to go around, shake hands, kiss babies and shame black men up until this election. Uh, President what, uh, Tim Walls, Tampon Timmy, he's going on a tour specifically to target men. And I'm like, what are they going to send him into barbershops? Like, <laughs> they going to send Tim Walls into a barbershop. Tim Walls don't have no lips. Have you seen him? These are some creepy people. And no, nah, man, you, this is this is hilarious on so many levels because I just feel like Miss Cleo because I'm everything I've been saying for the last few months is just coming true. They had to bring Obama out, and and, and that ain't gonna work either, partner. Because like I said, you could you could bring up time and all you want. This is nowhere close to what he had when he was running. Nowhere near close. And like I say, people are oh, shoot, excuse me, people are more smarter now than they were then it's that simple like i said y'all constantly underestimate us not everybody is still on that plantation a lot of people have gotten more wiser and want to want to do something different they tired of suffering they tired of the same old story over and over and um you know but shout out to nina turner man that was a a, a good good uh good segment from CNN, that's rare that you don't see too much. But yeah, because usually they got people on there like Keith Boykin and all these feminine men that they got pandering towards Kamala, uh, Roland Martin, and you know, the whole nine. It's just it's annoying, but you don't see too many uh, people that represent that side that's likable. She's one of them. So I respect Nina Turner big time for that. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'm out.